We have a special first-time buyers program to assist you with financing and getting your credit rebuilding program for those who may have some bumps in the road. Not trading in your car? No problem. Prestige Cars will buy your car. Call us today at 899-8800 or PrestigeCarsChattanooga.com. You will be glad that you did. For the love of Tennessee at dawn. For the love of the fight. For the love of having nowhere else you'd rather be. For the love of Tennessee. Travel safe. Brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development, the Tennessee Association of Broadcasters, and this station. I'm News 12 Chef Chapman for ESPN Chattanooga with the forecast from around our place here in the Tennessee Valley. Cloud cover increasing with some pretty strong thunderstorms developing by mid-morning. We'll see these on and off throughout mid-afternoon. Highs today remaining into the mid and possibly upper 60s. Much colder tomorrow. Some snow showers possible. A high of 36. News 12 and ESPN Chattanooga. This is the place for local weather. Just when I thought I was out. Pull me back in. That's right, we've pulled you back into the Word with G. Now, here's your host, Greg Larnard, on ESPN Chattanooga. Welcome back to the Word with G here on ESPN 95.3. It is a Thursday, and it means it is time for one of our favorite segments where we get to sit down with a local athlete here in studio. Last week was a little different. We had our future star of tomorrow over the phone. This week we're back in studio. And yes, we had to pre-record it because they're in school at this time. So joining us now here on the show today is an 11-year-old from Tennessee Nitro. He also attends Heritage Middle School. He is a big-time bat in the middle of that Tennessee Nitro lineup. Joining us now is... Eli Robinson. Eli, Hi. welcome in. How are you, my friend? Good. Good. I'm glad, uh, glad you could be here. I'm glad that uh, we're, we're making this work and we get a chance to get to know you a little bit. So first and foremost, you play four different sports. Yeah. You play baseball, football, soccer, and wrestling. Now, I was a three-sport athlete when I was your age. Uh, maybe four. I did base. No, I did Yeah, baseball, basketball, and soccer. Those were my three sports. Mm. And then I ended up dropping soccer, and then I went baseball and basketball. Those were my two main sports. So you play those four sports. Yeah. Where did your love of sports come from? Um, I would say probably, like, you know, when I was little, he mm-hmm. just watching the TV, you know, seeing the, um, the games go on, and just watching that, it was, like, so cool to see how they could just move like that. And Did, so it was like inspiring. That's cool. Did you have a uh, a sport in which you when you were growing up when you were younger that you were first you first fell in love with? Uh, I would say baseball. Yeah. Because just the action and like just the different positions and the different strategies. Yeah, it's very different from uh, in any of the other sports. You know, maybe not soccer because soccer you get subbed out. You generally can't go back in. I don't know how it is when it, when you play younger soccer, but you know football. There's free subs. You can go back and forth. This, that, and the other thing. But baseball, hey, you're in or you're sitting. Now I know that's different. Now when you're younger and you're playing AU ball and select ball, there's the EH. You can kind of move people around. But that's a great way to kind of first get into sports. Now, which of those four sports that I named or is your favorite right now? Uh, I would say baseball. Okay. Because like the the atmosphere. Is like it's really nice, and a, p- a lot of people like you when mm-hmm. you're there, and so like when you get a hit, they're all like woo, and uh, like specifically like. The, wait, wait, what are the people like? The <laughs> they're like when you get a hit, they're like they're so proud of you. No, no, what were they like again? <laughs> woo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and especially on the home team side. And when you get a hit... Well, what if you're on the visiting side? What if you're on the visiting side? Very quiet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it just depends if you're home or away. But, yeah, a yeah, lot of fanfare, a lot of cheering. And, you know, what I love about baseball as well, because that's what I played in college, was just the quick action. Yeah, because, like, 
if you get a ball hit to you, you have like one or two seconds to react to it. Mm -hmm. And so it's like you could either get it in your glove or you could have a bruise for the next few hours. That's right. Yeah, that's true. And I know from from playing, you know, and coaching in the same league that you play in, it's sometimes it's through throughout the entire entire day. If you're yeah. playing that long, if you win that much, or you're playing in the you know, gold, silver bracket on a Sunday, whatever it may be. Again, we're hanging with Eli Robinson here, our future star of tomorrow. So when it comes to baseball, you mentioned what your favorite thing is about it. What about your positions? What positions do you play? Uh, I would say mostly pitcher and second and a little bit outfield, mm-hmm. like if those positions are taken. Yeah. And like with second, you have to have angle because it's like the most – field coverage that you have other than the outfield yeah yeah the shortstop and second base playing up the middle are yeah you have to have a lot of range so you have to know how to really attack baseballs whether it's to your left whether it's to your right um you know out of those three positions that you play i assume that the outfield is probably not your favorite but between pitcher and second base which one of those is your favorite well i would say second Mm -hmm. because if you mess up in second the um only people that are going to really be mad at you is either your teammates or your coach. <laughs> but if you mess up as a pitcher, you got your coach, the teammates, and the opposing hitter that'll yeah. get mad at and you. Yeah, and maybe the umpire so, as well. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, when it comes to uh, you, you're a big kid, so I'm surprised you play second base. I, I would picture you more as like a third baseman, first baseman, but you like second base the best. Yeah. Okay. So what number do you wear in baseball? Uh, one. Okay, why do you wear the number one? Is there a specific reason at all, or you just like the number one? Uh, there wasn't really a specific reason, Mm -hmm. but it's mostly because, uh, and, um, no reason. But (laughs) when we, on our, like, our first day, there was, like, people with, like, one, two, three, four jersey numbers, Mm -hmm. and that was, that was really... Cool. No, you just got the you got the number one. You were the yeah. first one. That's pretty cool. Again, Eli Robinson is our guest here, our future star of tomorrow this week. And uh, when it comes to baseball, do you have a favorite team? Like in the major leagues? Yeah. Uh, I would say probably the Braves because just of like the unique variety that mm-hmm. they have. Isn't Ozzy Albie's number one? Is he number one? Yeah, he is. I think I think so. Yeah. I was going to say, that, uh, that that would be a good person to model your game after, and, and he is number one, I think. Let me see. I think I'm trying to look yeah. up a picture here. Of course, it's the front of his jersey. I can't see his the back of his jersey. But, uh, yeah, so you're a Braves fan. Yes, he is number one. So that makes sense. There you yeah. go. Do, do you Now, do you try to model your game after him or anybody on the Braves? I mean, I would say yes, probably after Ozzy, because of just like the quick movements mm-hmm. that you need to accomplish that position. And it's, like, really uh, cool to look up to people like that. Yeah. And, yeah, it's really amazing, you know, try to follow in the footsteps. Yeah. Are you a um, Are you a right-handed batter? Uh, yeah. I'm okay. Right-handed. So right-handed batter. Do you throw right-handed, I assume, as well? <laughs> yes. Okay. I was going to say, lefty second baseman would be a little... Uh, a little weird. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen... A bit of a disadvantage. Yeah. Now, Ozzy is a switch hitter, which is pretty cool yeah. as well. I don't know many kids uh, at your age that are switch hitters, but uh, he's able to to, uh, to do both. Now, when it comes to sports, what what would you say is your second favorite? I if would you had to pick. I say uh, probably football. Okay. What do you like about football? Um, Just the, like, when you watch the, the NFL... When you watch the NFL, mm-hmm. it's like you see these big hits and like big scoring games. Yep. And it's like when I played football, it was I was a lineman, and so I was a defensive lineman, and so you would have like two uh, linemen coming at you, mm-hmm. and so you didn't really get much action. But just to see the, your other teammates go in and like get the people carrying the ball, that was that was really cool. Okay, so you play defensive line. Do you play any other positions, any skill positions or anything, or just strictly uh, defensive line? Not really, just uh, defense. Okay. Uh, what do you what now? What number do you wear when it comes to football? Uh, I did forty five mm-hmm. because at that time I thought at, my, at that time my dad was thirty five, mm-hmm. but I thought he was forty five. He's talking about like his age or the number he yeah. was. Oh, okay, so uh, he was really 
30? Yeah, he was yeah. really 35. So you thought he was much older than he was. Yeah. Oh. Like, sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. So are you still th- four years, still the number 45? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, I might change it if I ever get to, like, middle school football. Okay. Yeah, that'll, nice. that'll probably be a little switch there. Are you looking to play football next year in, yeah. in middle school? Looking to sign up and, you know, see mm-hmm. if I make it because... I mean, there's very different variety of kids who want to play. Mm-hmm. Some are good, and some like don't really know the sport very well. Now, is it tackle or flag? Hmm? Is it tackle football oh, or flag it's football? It's tackle football. Tackle football. Okay, because I know some of the kids on my team they play flag football. I wasn't sure if you play yeah, tackle I'll, or flag. There was flag football that I would like to play mm-hmm. when it comes around. I mean, that would be nice to play. Yeah. Because instead of like getting absolutely rammed by a kid, yeah, you can just go. Yeah, just pull the flag if you want. Uh, You know, that was something that we didn't have when I was growing up. There was no flag football leagues. It was tackle football, and, you know, we'd play two-hand touch in the park. We didn't have the flags and the belts and whatever. And then there would be, like, a charity tournament that we would play in every once in a while. But there was no flag football leagues like they have now, which is pretty cool. Again, Eli Robinson, our guest here, hanging with us in studio. He's our future star of tomorrow. He's from Tennessee Nitro. All right, when it comes to football, who's your favorite team? Uh, the football, I would probably either say the L.A. Rams, the Ravens, or the Chiefs. Interesting. Why Why those three teams? Uh, well, the, the, the college football team that I go for is Georgia, mm-hmm. and the Rams quarterback, Matthew Matt Stafford, Stafford yeah. he came from Georgia, mm-hmm. and the, uh, the ability to run the ball that... Uh, the Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson yep. has. He He's dynamic. He yeah, he can just slip right through. And Patrick Mahomes, the way he can just throw the ball is really pretty impressive. It's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. That's cool. And so you uh you must what did you do for the uh the, the national championship game? Did you watch the national championship game? Uh no. We had a D bat day on that day. Oh. And so we're looking at the score. Yeah. It's, it's halftime. <laughs> it's like 35 to 7. Yeah. And so you're wondering, how is this game going to go? And then when we get home, it's like 65 to, to seven. 7. And TCU, they had like 55 unanswered points. Yeah. And so that was Against like, them, yeah. I was like, woohoo. Yeah, that was pretty. That must have been pretty awesome to see yeah. that back-to-back national champions, and um, yeah, bringing a lot of good luck out here to uh, the Georgia Bulldogs. Again, we're hanging with Eli Robinson, our guest here on our Future Star of Tomorrow segment. Now, when it comes to football, do you try to model your game after anybody, or? Um, I not really. I would just say like the football is like going after mm-hmm. it, I'm not really like modeling anybody. Okay, I got you. Well, let's go to uh, let's go to so- soccer next. How, how, what is your favorite thing about soccer? Uh, like, I would say indoor soccer, because you don't have to worry about the whole out-of-bounds, so you can just kick it at nice. a wall, and it would rebound, and so you're like, yay! That's pretty cool. Yeah, and the the goals are smaller, mm-hmm. but it's like, they're a little bit bigger, and when you when you kick it at the goal... I used to be a goalie, mm-hmm. and there was always this one kid in the game that would score on me, but when he kicked it, the ball would curve. Oh, he's bending it like Beckham. Yeah, he, it was crazy. Now, and, what, position, what, what positions do you play now on uh, soccer? I would say goalie and striker and, like, wing, the wing mm-hmm. positions nice. and sometimes defense. Nice. Which, uh, which do you like out of those the best? I would say probably striker. Striker, because you get to score goals yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, that is fun. I was never good enough with my feet. I was always better with my hands, so I played first base, yeah. and it was good at fielding ground balls. I was not very good with my feet in terms of putting a uh, soccer ball between them, so I was kind of like you. I played goalie, and that's what I, I liked better. Yeah. I was like, I played in an indoor league in uh, college, and I there was a bunch of European kids on our team, so I <laughs> said, like, you guys go do your fancy footwork. I'll be here with my hands yeah. in, the, in the in the goal. When I started uh, soccer, mm-hmm. it was like they say kick it with the side of your foot, but when the, you you see the pro soccer players hit it with their side of their foot, me and my friend at school were like, "How do you kick it with the side of your foot?" We would just kick it like with our toes, so yeah. it would go further. Yeah, you need a little extra oomph on <laughs> yeah. it uh, for sure. All right, so 
What is the, let, let's let's move to uh, wrestling now. How did you get into wrestling? That's sort of I don't want to say it's an obscure sport, but it is definitely sort of a niche sport. It's not like a mainstream, you know, with a with basketball, baseball, football. Yeah, um, the wrestling I heard about it. Like it was just give me something to do mm-hmm. over the school, and so it turned out to be pretty fun, even though you didn't get to play much. Being like one of the only three sixth graders in the wrestling team, and uh, yeah, that that's how I heard about it. And so my, I I said I might do it, and my dad was like, "You should go do it. You should go do it." And so I went and did it. And how do you like it? Uh, it was it's it was pretty fun. Yeah. Like the first like week or two, we were on the football field. And so whenever we did burpees, we would, like, eat grass, dead grass Ooh. every time. And we would have to run the football fields, like, a matter of times. And that was that was pretty exhausting. Yeah, I can imagine. Again, we're hanging with Eli Robinson here, our future star of tomorrow in studio. All right, let's talk about what you like to do outside of sports. Um, Outside? I just like to, like, play games and read and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, I heard video games, do some reading. Yeah. I heard you like history as well. Yeah, like social studies, that's all really cool, just mm-hmm. to learn about what happened and how it started and how it ended. And, like, the close calls that we had to almost, like, making an oopsie. What do you, When you say an oopsie, what do you mean? Like, the... It was, like, after World War II, I think, yeah. like the Cuban Missile Crisis. Mm-hmm. Like, there was, like, one mistake away from them shooting the missiles over here. Yeah, that no, would not have been good. No, not have been good. No, not have been good at all. All right, so, you know, that's your, I would assume that's your favorite school subject, social yeah, studies? Okay. for sure. So, you've also done a lot of moving in your young life here from Georgia to Alabama sure. to Florida back to Georgia. What's it been like uh, traveling around and just living in different places? At the first time that we moved, I was like four or five, so mm-hmm. it's like, okay, new place. You go to hot Florida, yeah, and then you move again, and so it's almost kind of like, here we go again. Yeah. So you take that seven and a half hour drive up from Inverness, Florida to very tippity top of Georgia, and so. That's just a lot. We got friends there, good friends, and so That's we got to drive eight hours down and then eight hours Oof. back. All right, here's my last question for you to finish up the conversation. I always ask the uh, the kids about this. If you could have only one more meal in the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Um, I would say probably uh, when my mom makes tomato soup. It's really mm. good. Just add like a grilled cheese sandwich in oh, there to yeah. dip it in. And then the, like some little fried chicken wings. Nice. It's, it's really good. It's really good. Very nice. Well, that's a great that's a great meal. I'm sure you would enjoy that for the rest of your life. Yeah. Eli Robinson has been our guest. He's 11 years old. You can see him on the baseball diamond, on the ba- on the uh, football field, soccer field, and the wrestling mat as well. And he goes to Heritage Middle. Eli, thanks so much for being here, buddy. Hey, you're welcome. There he goes, Eli Robinson. We'll finish up hour number one by giving you a quick top of the air ID, and then we'll get you ready for hour number two. This is WALV FM Udawa.